Hey everyone, if you're new here, my name is Ariel, and if you're not, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you my super easy, less than five minute makeup look. And it's what I've been gravitating to lately. I just throw them on my face really quickly and I get out the door and it's things that have been making my life so easy and just making me feel better throughout the day because makeup can, of course, just enhance your mood rather than just, you know, a topical type of thing. Like, you don't know if it enhances someone's mood, makes someone feel that much better, makes someone feel like a boss, like whatever it is do you boo stupid hot and humid outside and we've been just going through a cycles of heat waves here in new york for whatever reason so anyways um i talk so much in this video like i'm just letting you guys know that right now i'm just being real throughout this whole thing and talking to you guys about some things that are going to be coming up and ideas that i have videos i want to do things i want to get if you want to learn how I get this look in less than five minutes and it's super easy, super minimal, then just keep on watching and I would love to show you how. So this summer I actually haven't used much foundation and when I have it's been the same one. It's been the Physicians Formula The Healthy Foundation. I've been loving it. So what I've been wearing a lot is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. I freaking love this concealer. I've used so much of it and I've probably included this concealer in so many of my tutorials already and it's been my go-to. So what I love to do since I'm not going to wear foundation is apply it right under my dark circles. I mean over my dark circles of course. Um, around the nostril area because I get red there even on my nose um, I always just spread the concealer all over it because my nose gets red I just have a red face <laughs> I also apply it in my mustache area and on my chin and just a little bit on my forehead I know it's like basically everywhere but I just blend it all out and so um, around the mustache area. I just feel like it lightens up the place. Like, I tweeze. Let's get 100% real here, okay? Because every woman has facial hair. I don't care what you say. I've gotten comfortable with it. I did go laser for two appointments. Like, I went for two sessions, but then, like, I stopped going like an idiot. I remember it hurting specifically more right here. I got, like, my full face. And I remember that once it got to the mustache area right here, it was like like a sharp rubber band snapping back at you. My upper lip area. It's a freaking mustache. So I've been loving tweezing it rather than using the little eyebrow shavers to shave it off because I do feel like... I mean, a lot of people can say it doesn't come out thicker. I think that it does, or at least um, if you already have thick dark facial hair I think that you shouldn't shave it at all like because when it starts coming out you get kind of this shadow around um, so that's why I don't and if you want to wax it you can do that too I just like I, I have a tweezer all the time and sometimes I forget to buy the strips I buy them from Walgreens the wax strips oh my gosh I didn't know if we were gonna get into this whole like hair removal talk but it's something that I'm definitely open to talk about I've tried everything just apply some more right in this sunken area right here and I am in the shade 2n if I didn't mention it before um, I wish that they did have more shades because they don't have that big of a shade selection but this one kind of works for me And I've been doing really good with my skincare, which is why I don't stress foundation out so much. Um, and I like to be more lighter in the summer because lately it's been so humid and just nasty out. I can't. Fall is around the corner and I'm just like, <sighs> I can't wait. 
So the next thing I'm going to do is shape my brows with this brow highlighter. This is from Wet n Wild and it's the ultimate brow highlighter. It's this um, pinkyish kind of undertone shade and I use it to clean up my under eyes. So uh, if you've been watching a lot of my recent videos, you'll know that um, this is like concentration right here. That I've been growing out my eyebrows for eight months now, seven months. Are we still at seven months? I don't know, but I haven't gone anywhere to get my eyebrows done for the past about seven, eight months now. Um, I've just been tweezing whatever um, I felt wasn't necessary. So, like, I'm meaning the hairs all the way down here. And now some of you have seen, like, my eyebrows in there like truest ugly brow phase like you'll go through phases and that's why I feel like some people just end up not really growing them out and it's just because you go through these phases that you just can't fix like you have to have that hair there anyways this brow I feel like is where I've always wanted it to be like I feel like I'm content with this brow this one has been giving me some trouble I did pick at it again today so I know you're thinking already like Ariel you haven't even set your under eye what are you doing and honestly when it comes to setting my under eye I'll only do it like if I have a heavy face on um, like layer after layer after layer but this concealer I love it especially because it doesn't crease that much like or at all I'm in the shade 2N and although it's not like my perfect shade it's the one that's the closest to it so definitely recommend this and that's why I don't set my under eye because I don't feel like I need to but if you know how your skin works then keep doing what you do after this is done I have been jumping into this palette and it's crazy because I remember when I reviewed this palette I'll leave the video link down below saying that I didn't really like it all so much um, I just felt like this yellow wasn't really like was a little bit chalky and not that pigmented but besides that the shades that I'm gonna use today I have been loving for like minimal everyday type of looks so damn I can talk today I have been grabbing this shade called Sweet Tea. It's such a beautiful and perfect transition color. Um, it's pretty neutral brown. A little bit on the cooler side. You guys are going to flip. <laughs> I have been using the Morphe M519 brush. As you've seen, I've been using my fingers for, or a sponge for basically everything I've done so far. Um, and that's because most of my brushes are all dirty. I just haven't cleaned any of my brushes. I had that moment of being uninspired and I just haven't cleaned my brushes. The reason why I'm using this brush is because it was one of my very few clean blending brushes and I just wanted to try them out again. So let me just start applying the shade. And I've only ever placed one order for Morphe products and that's because this was before they had any of the makeup items that they have now. They, but the reason why I didn't ever like venture off into their other brushes was because I was so um, disappointed in that, in those brushes. And including this one, I get why people love using it. Like it literally br blends out your transition shade like a dream, but it's prickly. I don't want to feel like I'm, I'm pricking my eye every time I'm swirling around and I have just stuck my mind on like that just moment of disappointment when I used I think it was maybe four or five brushes that I ordered um, and out of all of them I love one and it was like this huge blending brush because it was soft and I'm not a person that's like a brand hater I just think that's so unnecessary I think that if you like a product you like it if you don't you don't I have to like everything of one brand and you could be honest about what you really like and so Jaclyn Hill she is making her own brush collection with them I believe she's like made new brushes like I'm definitely going to look into that give it another go on days that I want to deepen things up a little bit I will grab this shade 
Old Fashioned, which is this one right here. It's a deeper brown. Um, and this is only when I want to look like I did a little bit more. So I'll put this darker shade in the corner of my outer V and blend it in. But I apply it on basically the tail end of that bone over here. What is this? The orbital? And then I'll, whatever's on my brush, I'll just sweep that over the lid to make it look like that effortless everyday look. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes. So I completely forgot. I'm going to go back into that sweet tea shade and apply that all up in my lower lash line. For mascara, I'm actually going to use this Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. So freaking good. I've never used anything from this makeup brand. I received it in an Ipsy bag, so it would have been my August Ipsy bag. I just received it, and it has been everything I've been looking for. At length, like no other, it adds a little bit of volume. And the best part, which is the part that is important to me, is that when it comes off, it like squiggles off. Like the product clumps up and it just comes off. It doesn't create like a huge panda eye mess and I appreciate that so much. Like this makes my eyelashes look so long and I just appreciate it. I appreciate it. I have been contouring my nose so I'm going to take some of this uh, Park Avenue Princess bronzer from Tarte Cosmetics with this thin blending brush and just apply it to contour my nose. So I've basically done this like eye concealer look these past few weeks like crazy and I've used a couple of different highlighters along the way so this one is definitely a staple and it's the one that I used yesterday I've also used a couple of different other highlighters with this look because you know some highlighters you just can't wear with everything because they're just that in your face especially when you want to do like a minimal type of look I know some people like more lit from within candlelight type of highlighters people like colorful ones so these are the ones that i've been using but do as you please um i've tried it out with the oh halo liquid highlighter drops from wet and wild um and i just you just have to be careful with that um i've used the mermaid glow highlighter face kit thing um from colourpop i love this I love everything about this. Also used it with the Anastasia Omrizi highlighter, which is just so beautiful and will never get old. As vibrant as it can be, it's also wearable. So that's a little bit of highlighter goodness. Definitely let me know if you would want to see something like that, like the highlighters I've been using this entire summer, but just like I did with the lip product one. And if you haven't seen that, I will leave that in the description box below. <laughs> I'm actually going to use this one just because it's like a staple highlighter with this very large obnoxious brush. Um, yeah, we're just gonna use it. And I always go heavy, honestly. It's kind of a strobing type of theme, so the more my highlight appears, of course, blended, of course, there'll be more dimension in my face. I bring my finger swirling it into the powder and applying it on the tip of my nose and on the bridge as well. So this brush is pretty tiny and it's kind of clean so we're going to use this one to apply some of that powder onto my cupid's bow. Then I move on to my lip color. I just throw on some of this. This was featured in my top eight favorite lipsticks of the summer. It's the Dose of Colors shade in Truffle. And I have been loving this for every single day. I wore it yesterday. I'm going to go back into that highlight and apply it right on top again. And 
I know I didn't mention it before, but for my brows, I've been using the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. It has a spoolie on one end and the pencil on the opposite end, and it has that triangle tip, that definer tip, so that's why I love it, and I love the shade. I'm using the shade Ash Brown. It was the only one that was available, the only shade, like, people mopped that area, so... Yeah, ash brown and it works pretty well. So, I like it. So that wraps up this video. I swear you guys, I don't take this long to do. Normally I can do this within five minutes, if that. And I do this before I run out the door. I have this little section. I put all the products that I use next to a mirror in the morning. I put it on my face and I go. Some days I'll get a little sassy and throw on like a shimmery lid color. But for the most part, this is what this is me. This is how I've been doing it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? Click that bell button that way you get notified whenever I do post a video. I love you guys. I appreciate you all for watching every single time. Thank you for your time. Leave me some suggestions in the comments down below because I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, I'm getting re-inspired again and all these videos are kind of just coming at me. So yeah, it's one thing for me to write down like a bunch of different ideas, but it's another thing if it's coming from you guys and it's something that you want to see. So you want me to review a certain product, like I'm so down. So just leave that in the comments down below and that's it. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. <coughs> Jesus, animala. I got it. Blah, blah, blah. I can't talk. The dis comments description. Leave me some suggestions in the description. Wow, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> I just looked at this like if it was a mirror. <laughs> I always get it on me. All the time. My eyelash. Wait, make a wish. Um...